I am Liz Marshall and my film is The Ghosts in Our Machine. The Ghosts in Our Machine illuminates the lives of individual animals um, that have been rescued from and are living within the machine of our modern world. The incentive from the very beginning has been to reach a broader audience for this film um, and that's been very, very strategic from the beginning. Uh, because animal rights is a very tough subject. It's stigmatized, it's marginalized, um, but more and more we're seeing sort of this zeitgeist on the heels of the environmental uh, movement that is recognizing that non-human animals have agency, they have inherent rights. And so the film is really shining a light on, on this subject in a way that is more accessible for people. Um, it's not a finger-wagging movie, it's not a, a, a movie that's meant to shame you, um, but rather to invite you to consider that other animals, because we are animals after all, other animals are um, deserving of dignity and respect. And so the film is really a platform to recognize them and to give them cinematic agency through the power of sound and picture and story. I read a book called Diet for a New America by John Robbins, an American, who was the heir to the Baskin and Robbins throne. And he um, rejected that um, because he researched animal industries and was absolutely appalled um, at the impact to animal welfare, um, the planet, and human health. And as a result, he wrote a, a sort of what became a manifesto called Diet for a New America. I read it and I was very um, inspired. And it sort of shifted my uh, gaze, my perspective. And also it allowed me to sort of make the connection between human rights, environmental rights, and animal rights. And I still make that connection. And The Ghosts in Our Machine is really an offering. It's a, it's a bridge to help people see that connection. Mm -hmm.